Firestone Tournament of Champions is loaded with tradition and includes the legend of past champions like Mike Durbin, Mark Williams, Steve Cook, Wayne Webb, Earl Anthony, Del Ballard, and the list goes on and on. This week, 52 great champions have passed through the portals of Riviera Lanes, and inside a standing room only crowd awaits the 29th Firestone Tournament of Champion Finals. It's a $300,000 tournament. $60,000 going to the winner. Hello again, I'm Chris Sankel, delighted to have covered all 29. And we have a great field today, and I want you to meet the professionals. In our first match, there'll be a battle between PBA Sportsmanship Award winners Dave Houston of Milwaukee, Oregon, and Parker Bone III of Freehold, New Jersey. The winner of that match will face the reigning PBA Player of the Year, Dave Ferraro of Kingston, New York. Our tournament leader is a three-time champion from Indianapolis, George Branham III. The newly crowned Firestone winner will then face the king of the hill, Dell Ballard Jr. of Richardson, Texas. Finishing his 19th year with us here in our winter tour from St. Louis, Nelson Burton Jr. Bell. Thank you, Chris Shankel. It's been a great week. The 29th Firestone Tournament of Champions, all champions in the field. And the criteria for qualifying for this tournament are pretty tough. You have to won this tournament before, been a past winner in the past fiscal year, uh, combined to win to play over 66% of the tournaments, and have at least 10 PBA titles. Now we've had a great scoring winner in 1993. That fabulous 254 average at Sayville by eight, the, for eight games was the highlight. And Chris, for the big money today, I expect some more of that high scoring. Well, there's a, a high amount of money with 60 to the winner, 33 for runner-up. Imagine 24 for third and 18 for fourth. And the number four finalist is David Houston, shaking the hand now of Parker Bone, the third of Freehold, New Jersey. And the first game will get underway here. The championship pair, a great pair, Bo. Yep, 27 and 28. The players have bowled on this pair for 27 of the 29 Firestones, so they're very familiar with it. Well, that's a wide awakening for David Houston. Well, the championship pair does have characteristics. The left-hand lane for the right-handed players hooks a little bit more. David Houston needs to get the ball over in the 6-10 zone, try to slide that 6 over into the 7. Opening frame. Nearly. So it is a 7-pin lead. It's an open frame for Dave Houston, and now let's see what Parker Bone can do with his first shot. It'll come in the right lane, but he bowls from the left side. Ah, the scout has arrived. Ah, Chris, yep. Watch the style of probably one of the top left-handers in the world today. Inside out swing. Watch how he tucks that swing from the inside, goes right along the target line, playing that deep inside line. Parker Bone with the good knee bend, solid follow through. And probably the greatest improvement he's made in the last three years is wrist action. Good wrist action. And the big double for Parker. And now let's watch how. David Houston, the 33-year-old United States Open champion. How he reacts to that open frame. He's now shooting on the right lane. Great professional. Houston had the righty, but it's very similar style to Parker Bowen, his opponent. Has a solid five-step push away, good high backswing, everything in perfect position. He'll pull that left arm back. And once again, David with the really good wrist action. See that hand underneath the ball, imparting about 15 revs, and he sawed the five out in the second frame. David's best finish this year was third in the Johnny Petraglia Open in North Brunswick. And now 
faced with his second split. The situation there for David is simply he's not playing the lane properly. You see him looking down at the approach, where to adjust. All he can do with this particular shot as he cuts through the middle is try to knock out the 4-7 and hopefully make an adjustment and put some pressure on Parker Bowen. Okay. Here now is Parker Bone. He won in Phoenix here in 1993. Best Firestone finish was 10th in 1991. Just a bit outside. How about a 1-3 for the left-hander? You hear him muttering to himself a little bit outside, a very demanding trajectory here in the third jewel of the Bowling's Triple Crown, the Firestone. Down the middle, very little angle to the five pin. Parker just sent one wide and ends up very fortunately with an easy spare. Premier left-hander Parker Bone III describes the significance of a Firestone win today. Well, the Firestone Tournament of Champions is the most prestigious tournament on the PBA Tour. And for me to win my first major and have it be a Firestone, it would be really special to me. And he's off to a good start with a 31-pin lead through three frames. So with a 31-pin lead, he comes through with the most powerful strike of the match thus far. We're in Fairlawn, a suburb of Akron, and springtime in Akron means the bike trails are full. Around the turn of the century, in a small Detroit carriage shop, Harvey Firestone met a fellow young inventor named Henry Ford. Firestone tires have been seen almost everywhere ever since. On Fords, Chevrolets, tractors, trucks, Indy Lights, and Saturns. Firestone, America's tire since 1900. Red Devil Enamel. You can always count on its durable finish. Harder than ordinary paints, its beauty lasts and lasts. Red Devil Enamel, for the finish of a lifetime. Brave athletes challenge the notion that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are just for kids. I play for the Mariners, but deep down, I'm a Tiger fan. Oh, go on. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. We're in our very first match of the 29th Firestone Tournament of Champions. Parker Bone III has a 31-pin lead over David Houston, who's ready to bowl on the right line of the championship pair. Deep inside line, trying to get something going. According to Dave Houston, even a victor today won't alter his plan to taper off the number of future events he participates in. No, I don't think so. Nothing in my plans are going to change. Uh, of course, a victory today would be, uh, would be very special. The, uh, the Firestone Tournament Champions is our most prestigious event. Uh, but nothing's going to change in Dave Husted's plans. I'm, if I go out there and win, I'm still only going to bowl about 15, 20 tournaments a year from now on and uh, spend a little more time with my family. David has been in nearly 50 telecasts in our travels, and he congratulates himself on conquering the left lane, Bo. You're right, Chris. Made the real good move. Moved about three boards farther left on the approach, projected the ball to the right, and now he's back in the match. Parker Bone, however, leads by 21 through four, strike working. Boy, he's back now to 31, and boy, he's sending a strong message down those lanes. Next up will be Dave Ferraro and then our tournament leader, George Branham III, or second. And then waiting is our King of the Hill, Del Ballard. Jersey native is beginning to string them now with three. 
David Houston, the deep inside line. He'll slide in this area. His target will be in this area. He's got to drift slightly around that ball return rack, and he'll go on the lane. He's been hitting pretty well. A big shot. You will never find David Houston wilting. It's bred into him. His father, Champ, a great bowler, and he's here watching today. Now the left-hand lane, he'll have to stand farther to the left on the approach. He'll be over here almost on lane 26. He'll slide almost in the left-hand channel, and his target will be right in this area with a little more loft and speed. If he can conquer this lane on this shot, he's back in the match. Leaving a 10 pin. As we indicated earlier, 52 champions. The youngest was Jason Couch. He finished 15th. He was only 21. And the oldest, the PBA senior player of the year, Gene Stuss of Michigan, who finished 38th. All right. We're in Fairlone, Ohio, suburb of Akron, where warm weather yesterday brought out some talent on the campus of the University of Akron. See spot See spot run. See spot See spot stay. Introducing something better. The world's first foam protectant. It's a foam so it stays where it's sprayed. No running, no dripping. It deeply cleans, shines, and protects without the mess. So why use an ordinary protectant? Try something better. The protectant with staying power. Ninjas do two things very well. They react. And they attack. Blows them away like a ninja. The AMF Ninja, available today. American Shannon Miller's gold medal performance in the biggest gymnastics event of the year, the World Gymnastics Championships, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Here's the only three-time winner of the Firestone Tournament of Champions, Mike Durbin. He is also general manager now of Riviera Lanes. Great week for everybody involved. Every facet of the bowling industry has converged on this area to celebrate the game. Come on, ball. Yeah. And Parker with a big strike. Now I bring in the, our friend from Indiana, president of the PBA. Here he is, Mike Alvey. Thanks, Chris. Dave, Parker didn't have much in practice, but now it looks like he's really lined up. Do you think you can throw enough strikes to match him? Well, I kind of hope so. Uh, if I was to pick a winner in practice balls, I would have picked David, but uh, that's kind of like I picked the horses. Not too good. He's ready, Chris. <laughs> I guess. He can pick the derby for us next week on Wide World of Sports, David. Point five. All right. Find a solid three-year-old like that shot, and you'll win the derby. <laughs> First Saturday in May. Whew. Well, Parker Bone right now is going at a 248 pace. Houston, a potential 226, must strike the next couple of frames. Still in it. And Memorial Day weekend, not far away. The Professional Bowlers Tour returns to ABC Sports. Bowling's best will be rested and ready to begin the spring tour in California at the Fresno Open. So join us May 29th on ABC Sports. David That's Houston, excuse me, Chris, right. ninth frame, absolutely must strike or he cannot win the shot. Crossing over and leaving the six bow. Dejected, Chris, and he knew that was the key shot. And that lane has really been his downfall as he drifts high, almost crossing over to the Brooklyn side. He has the six, nine, ten standing momentarily. Gets a little love tap from the three. Has an easy spare, but it's going to be a fourth place finish for Dave Houston. Solid week. All right. Now, the reason the players are playing so deeply inside, there's so much oil on the lane, all the way across the lane, all the way down 47 feet. So the players 
have to play inside because if they play outside, the ball will not finish to the pocket. Another good shot. Now sending a message to Dave Ferraro, who will be up next as a number two qualifier in this Tournament of Champions. He's off to the right. You hear the pins falling as he continues to stay loose. Exceptional shot as Parker Bone finishes out the 10th frame so far. Deep inside line, he'll play right down the center. Hard to carry, but it's good to hit the pocket. We mentioned the format of 52 champions. In 48 games, they have completed 388,790 pins that fell by virtue of 1,824 games. So there's a lot of action here at Riviera Lanes, Nelson. And Parker Bone can add to that total, Chris, a potential 278. What a start. Well, you see the oil pattern, why it's so demanding. Just miss a little bit to the left, and he whiffs the head pin. Two shots like that, however, Parker capitalized on every good shot, did not get tapped in the match. Spare here, 266, what a start. Dave Ferraro has his work cut out for him in the semifinal match against this man. So it's a big 266 for the winner. Parker Bone will have David's final score after this. ABC Sports Presentation Professional Bowlers Tour will return after this message. And a word from our ABC station. There are a few American classics, but only one Kentucky Derby. Bud Light, the official beer of league bowling in the Professional Bowlers Tour, brings you the Bud Light Bowling Hall of Fame Tournament. Registration for local qualifying is going on now. Contact your local bowling proprietor for more information. Now, Kellogg's Raisin Bran has even more of what you love best. Sweet, plump raisins. And two scoops with more raisins means great raisin taste. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Now with even more raisins. Dear Thompsons, I used Thompsons Water Seal Waterproofer on my Redwood furniture. My brother-in-law, Lewis used another brand on his Redwood gates. After intense rain, my furniture was like new. His gates swelled shut. Thompsons has no match. Sincerely, Lowell Salzer. Randy Quaid and Brian Dennehy. I've got a mad dog killer on my hands. Tracking kids on a cross-country killing spree. Nobody's safe. Murder in the Heartland, coming in May. This week on America's New Country, we have video debuts from Dixie Anna, Paul Overstreet, Deborah Allen, and Sammy Kershaw. Plus, we'll have hit videos from Leroy Parnell, Doug Stone, and more. This week, we're headed back country, backstage, and behind the scenes to visit with the man they call Mr. Positive, Paul Overstreet, the lovely Deborah Allen, and the romantic balladeer, Doug Stone. America's New Country, tonight at 7 on WHTM. You're about to see the power of subliminal advertising. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> now, can you name bowling's hookingest and bashingest mm. ball? It's the Rhino Pro Line in several distinctive urethane formulations to improve any game. Catch the Rhino Pro at one of these official Rhino Pro Shops. Carl Ravitch has the scores and more on 27 News. Gut balls and gutter balls. And sometimes, the trophy falls. But no matter what, you'll love the bowlers who have it all on ABC Sports Home Video, Bowling the Perfect Game. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR to order bowling's colorful history. Narrated by Chris Shankel and Nelson Burton, Jr. This collector's home video can be yours to enjoy for only $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping. That's 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. The Professional Bowlers Tour. Brought to you by Firestone, America's tire since 1900. By Columbia 300. Columbia bowls the world over. And by Yardman, makers of high-performance mowers and tractors. American-made, American-owned. 
We're happy you joined us for the Firestone Tournament of Champions Finals. In our first match, Parker Bone the third with nine strikes, a big 266. David Houston with problems, 183. So now, Bone's problem will be Dave Ferraro, who steps in. Chris, 52-man field, all champions, just solid scores to make the money this week. 213, everybody cashed. Look at some of the champions that you've enjoyed on ABC in the past years and this winter. Tony Westlake is the number one average lifetime at the Firestone. Pete Weber up there. Hugh Miller. Gary Dickinson, Lookout Seniors Tour. Here he comes. Deadeye, 14th. Couch, the rookie making good. Justin Romack, all the women like him. Ricky Wards came into his own this year. And there's the king, Ron Williams. Mike Albee, our guest today. Maza coming back. Randy Peterson. And Dwayne Fisher has a three-year exemption to the Firestone. Chris, finished 24th. Great group. Fresno Open, that's our next telecast, May 29th. PBA Tour, however, will resume in two weeks in O'Fallon, Illinois. But our telecast, May 29th, that's the Indy 500 weekend, folks. So make it a big weekend by watching bowling on Saturday, the Indy 500 on Sunday. Match two, Firestone Tournament of Champions, Dave Ferraro. Couple more heavyweights in the semifinal here. Ferraro felt the most confident, I believe, Chris, of any of the players coming into the championship round. The bowler of the year, first shot on a pair. He's already won one Firestone, 1990. His best this year, fourth, AC Delco, January 9th. Parker with that spectacular first game at nine strikes. Let's see if he can keep up the pace. Very difficult from this inside line. Come on, Paul. You know, you don't have to throw them all perfectly off your hand to get a strike. And Parker just threw one, which we just call just absolutely the nuts. He caught it all. It would have struck no matter where he threw it. He knew it when he let go of it. However, about a 90% efficiency rate as he takes a re-rack on the left-hand lane is enough to keep the ball in play. Let's see what happens. This is the key lane for Parker. If he's going to have trouble, I'd say it's going to be on 27. The rack is a little tighter. The head pin is a little farther to the left. He won't dig as deep into the one-two pocket. <laughs> well, he has to only shoot at the nine pin now. <laughs> Well, Chris, what we talked about, the rack being a little tighter, Parker forces it up. He does, can't afford to go thin on this rack, so he forces it up. He has the 6-8, gets a 9 count out, of, as you said, but an easy spare. Parker Bone, who defeated Dave Houston in our first match, 266 to 183. Now against the 1992 Player of the Year, among his victories, Johnny Petraglia, event in 92. with a, a double now. The style of the 1992 Bowler of the Year, a very gifted athlete on the bowling lanes. Everything absolutely in perfect shape. A little more upright than some of the other players because of his short stature of five feet, seven inches tall, but a style very much, Chris, like the great Hank Marino. Mm -hmm. A lot of loft, a short swing, and really keeps that ball in play. Dave, one of the two 300 uh, shooters this week, along with our tournament leader, George Branham III. Here's where that angle is so important. The ball from the deep inside line doesn't penetrate deep enough into the five pin to carry out the six and the ten. Easy spare for, for, for Ferraro, however. Bone trailing by nine. Shooting in the third frame now with a spare working. Our statistician today one of the three Triple Crown champions, Johnny Petraglia. Oh, boy. Ten. The last two shots by both players, Ferraro on the left-hand lane, Parker Bone on the right-hand lane, as Mary Bone, his wife, looks on. The reason they didn't strike is because they have to play that deep inside line because the oil has been carried down the lanes 47 feet this week by the PBA lane maintenance crew. All right, tomorrow ABC Sports continues live regional coverage of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. 
Mario Lemieux and the Pittsburgh uh, Penguins invade New Jersey. Chicago meets Brett Hull and St. Louis. Or out west, Calgary takes on Wayne Gretzky and the Kings. Then American Shannon Miller goes for more gold. It's a continuing coverage of the World Gymnastics Championships. <laughs> Almost as on cue, we talked about the ball not penetrating into the five pin. Yeah. Here's the deep inside list's shot. Look where this ball is, about the 15th board. It only needs to break the 17 to be solid. It deflects around. That's the five pin. That's what makes these majors that the PBA has put out this year, especially the U.S. Open and the Firestone, so demanding and the cream coming to the top. Fair. There are 10 members of the PBA's elite million-dollar circle. Here now, take a look at the PBA's commemorative poster. Mark Roth, Earl Anthony, there in the center. Ten millionaires by virtue of their bowling skills. Around the turn of the century, in a small Detroit carriage shop, Harvey Firestone met a fellow young inventor named Henry Ford. Firestone tires have been seen almost everywhere ever since. On Fords, Chevrolets, tractors, trucks, Indy Lights, and Saturns. Firestone, America's tire since 1900. In your quest to master the perfect bowling score, This is the new power toy. It's beyond reactive. Columbia holds the world over. Just think, guys, a few more of these and we get a vacation. Yeah, right. But until then, you're blind. Oh, no. There's no escaping it. Bowling returns May 29th. Ladies and gentlemen, join Nelson, Burton, and me, and uh, this is our vantage point. Do we have the best seat in the house? And we don't have to pay to get in. How do you like that? 27, 28, 40 lanes here at Firestone Riviera. Dave Ferraro leads by 11, fourth frame. All right, let's uh, join 21-time champion Mike Albee. Thanks, Chris. George, the left lane is drastically different than the right lane. You're going to play them uniquely today. Well, the left lane, I think, is hooking about five or six boards more, so I'm going to use a different ball on the left lane and, and use a ball that hooks more on the right lane. <clears throat> He's got it ready. He's going to be ready for the next match. Mike, I'll be a uh, very chancy move that Brandon will be making, switching balls, but that's for the title next game. And this eight-time champion in his 14-year PBA career has a big split. Unforgiving championship pair today. Anything that isn't perfect, you pay a penalty. What he has to do is get the ball to the left of the four, slide the four into the nine. About a four to one odds for a pro of this man's caliber. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> what an exceptional shot key fifth frame. If he doesn't make it, the match is tied. However, he maintains his 11-pin lead through five. Let's see what happens with Parker now. Parker's been in the pocket. Four straight frames, only one strike to show for him. Nelson, that's the best type of psyching, isn't it? To convert a split like that, you don't, you don't have to try and psych your opponent. Whew. I agree, Chris, and here's the money leaders so far for this year. Walter Ray off to a great year. And as we look through, here's the averages. Four players have a chance at, and even David Arnold, a chance of breaking Mark Ross' all-time record of 221.6. Now, for Parker Bone in the sixth frame, a strike here will make the match just a one-pin differential. Come on, ball. Come on. Yeah. Now, if this man could win today, 60000 he would take the money lead away from Walter Ray Williams, Jr., Runner-up today, 33, so our next match will be worth $93,000. Yeah. Some N Nelson Burton-type money. <laughs> I think I won that my whole career. <laughs> All right, Player of the Year, Dave.
Dave Ferraro, 1992, has not fared as well this year, but a win today could make up for a lot. Well, I think it's everybody's goal to get to the Firestone. I mean, this is uh, definitely the most prestigious tournament, and uh, it's been a struggle this year, so this would definitely cap off the winter tour for me. Uh, it also put me in the record books of being a uh, two-time winner of the Firestone. And there is Gloria, lovely lady, out to root her husband on, leading by 110, can up at 211, seventh frame shot. Six. Obvious pull on that shot from the top of his swing. In golf, they call it going over the top. And here in bowling, the same thing. He gets the ball back in good position. Instead of coming inside out, he goes over the top of it and pulls it. Leaves an easy spare. The six spin converts it, and he leads by just one pin through seven. All right, we're in our second match with the championship match coming up following this. Tournament leader, George Branham, waiting in the wings. We'll be back following this. Presenting the awesome Yardman Lawn Tractor. With an automatic transmission, 18 horsepower industrial engine, it bags, mulches, and discharges, all for the price of much tamer tractors. Yardman Mowers and Tractors, made in America. Brave athletes challenge the notion that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are just for kids. I play for the Mariners, but deep down, I'm a Tiger fan. Oh, go on. Frosted Flakes had the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. I feel Danorex -like tingling on this side. Nothing on the head and shoulder side. I love that tingle. So I tried Danorex -like for my dandruff. It really came through. The flaking stopped. My scalp doesn't itch. Danorex -like with conditioners, the serious dandruff shampoo. I've switched to Danorex. -like. American Shannon Miller's gold medal performance in the biggest gymnastics event of the year, the World Gymnastics Championships, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Here's our king of the hill staying loose. <laughs> He's, he wants to keep that kingdom, and he'll be meeting the winner of the Firestone Tournament of Champions. Nice battle here between Parker Bone III and Dave Ferraro. Two East Coast bowlers. Parker trails by one pin, can take the lead for the first time in the match with a strike here in the seventh. That's got a hook. Yeah! <laughs> Parker wanted to be sure that I'd mention that on Wednesday of this week, his father celebrated his 50th birthday, and he was so sorry that he couldn't be there to help celebrate. Jeez, that's old 50, isn't it, Chris? 50 for you <laughs> it's so young for me that it's frightening see how Parker got to the top four six rounds 48 games this week 24 qualifying 24 finals Parker can make it a 19 pin lead with a fourth consecutive strike here in the eighth come on now boy you know Parker Bone and Dave Houston in the last five years have shared the Steve Nagy Award sportsmanship and good guys well, this morning, Dave Ferraro had a wonderful breakfast staged by the PBA in Firestone. His wife said, why doesn't Dave Ferraro get that award? He's a good guy, and that is true. <laughs> Don't forget tomorrow, ABC Sports continues live regional coverage of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Pittsburgh invades New Jersey, Chicago, St. Louis, around West Calgary, and the Kings, then... American Shannon Miller goes for more gold. What a talent. It's continuing coverage of the World Gymnastics Championships. Most important shot of the match for Dave Ferraro. He's making a slight adjustment on the approach. If he's got a Sunday ball, now's the time to use it. Same thing happened to mm -hmm. David Houston when he made an adjustment in a key shot to get right back in the match. The ringing 10, and there's just not much you can do about that. The six pin flies right around the 10. One of the heartbreaks of the sport of bowling. A solid tap in a key situation. So Parker Bone now 
He had the first match really well in hand, 266 to 183. A little closer here, Bo, but. Well, he needs to keep it on the lane, as we say. He needs two solid marks, a good count, and fill the next two frames. However, a strike right here in the ninth would go a long way to locking it up. Time. Come on. Yeah. That green bowling ball has money written all over it. You bet. And just Parker Bone is our statistician and scorekeeper. Johnny Petraglia has put down five strikes, and he just put pack, 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 pack. It's a very, very sharp bowling to just about put this match away. These left-handers stick together, don't they? <laughs> and Johnny. <laughs> That's a winner right there. Oh, yes. So he is extending a challenge now to... Um, George Branham, and there's John. John put the clipboard down so they can see that triple crown face. John with his And good the other face, I might add, is our senior vice president. Known him forever. The Michigan State Spartan, Dennis Lewin. Parker Bone, a potential 258 to put on top of that 266. Never thought that Parker would be the man to beat here, Chris. Uh, he struggled, as uh, Mike Albee alluded to early in the practice. They practiced one hour on the championship here, and this man was lost and just put it all together right before the gun. Yes. And, uh, King of the Hill continues to warm up. Wonderful handshake. Congratulatory from fine gentleman Dave Ferraro. 1990 Firestone champion, not to be here in 93. Well, Ferraro has struggled a little bit in 93, the player of the year, and what he said at the breakfast this morning, he missed the cut, the top 24, by less than 10 pins five times, and he's known for his match game ability, and that's uh, been kind of holding him back. But he'll finish the year out strong and has a good, solid game here. He just never really was in it, as Parker Bone is razor sharp. Okay, this week's Choice Hotels International Tip of the Week features 1970 champion Don Johnson. And you may remember right here in uh, Fairlawn, he shot a 299, which topped Dick Ritker's 268 for television's highest scoring PBA match of all time. Watch a 10. 299. Sports presents a winning never gets old bowling tip sponsored by Choice Hotels International. Here's bowling great Dick Weather. Joining me today is Don Johnson, the holder of 26 PBA titles. Don, as we get older, we tend to lose physical strength, flexibility, and usually some power and speed. But you have a way for senior bowlers to regain some of that former power and speed. Well, what I teach, Dick, is really simple. I teach getting the ball in the swing much sooner than most people do. Uh, for example, in a five-step approach, I teach getting the ball in motion on the first step so it can start down on that second step. This allows the ball to get further back into the swing. As we can see in this picture, watch on the first step, the ball is moving and it's starting down on two. This allows it to get back on three, which gives me a higher back swing, which allows the ball to go faster. We need ball speed on, the, on today's lane conditions, so therefore this knocks more pins down. And I really believe if you seniors try this, it'll really, really help you. So don't let your age be an obstacle to your continued enjoyment of the sport of bowling. Just consider implementing Don's advice. After all, winning never gets old. Look for more ABC Sports Winning Never Gets Old Bowling Tips. Sponsored by Choice Hotels International. You're about to see the power of subliminal advertising. Now, can you name bowling's hookingest and bashingest ball? It's the Rhino Pro Line in several distinctive urethane formulations to improve any game only at your local pro shop. You know, I'm always teaching bowlers how to put fingers into the shot, not just the ball. But you can also use your fingers to save money. 
If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE and you can save 30% at choice hotels like quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep. 30%. Now that's what I call aiming for the pocket. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at any of the seven brands in the Choice Hotels family. Hey, kid. How about a float? <laughs> There's nothing like the authentic frosty mug taste of an A&W root beer float. One taste and it will really bring back memories. Our Frosty Mug Taste brings you back. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but you can save money on home repairs with the right wood preserver. Thompson's Wood Protector has more of everything wood needs to protect it. The Parkers used the wrong brand. Now look at that fading. The Furmans tried something else, and they still got water damage. They'll be calling. Oh. Thompson's Wood Protector. Superior protection from water, sun, and mildew damage. Thompson's Wood Protector. It's number one for wood. Pittsburgh invades New Jersey. Chicago battles St. Louis. Or the Kings take on the Flames. The Stanley Cup playoffs continue Sunday on ABC Sports. As we get close to the championship game now, let's recap the Firestone thus far. Parker Bone the third with nine strikes defeated David Houston 266 to 183. Then in came a Firestone champion named Dave Ferraro. Bone up to the challenge, winning 258 to 209. And now we'll face the tournament leader to the thirds, George Branham the third and Parker Bone the third. Technological advancements in the bowling industry um, are few and far between, but we have a new one this year. There you've heard of the resin ball. Here's Bone. This year I've talked extensively about bowling's latest technological advance, the reactive resin bowling ball. Today we're going to explain what it does and is it for everyone. Now John Mazza will explain what it is. A reactive resin bowling ball is a urethane bowling ball with an additive inside of it that decreases the amount of pores, which allows for more skid on oil and a higher level of friction on the back end. The ball actually heats up and sparks more on the back of the lane, creating a, a tremendous amount of angle for improved carry and scoring. Here's Kelly Kaufman's description of the difference in break of two balls thrown on identical lane conditions. When the ball goes down the lane, the ball has a tendency to heat up and it, it has a lot of finish on the back end. It breaks a lot on the back end. It breaks really strong compared to a normal urethane ball and therefore it's creating a lot of high scores right now. Let's take a closer look at the action of Kelly Kaufman's reactive resin bowling ball. Using the head pin as a reference, you'll notice how the reactive resin ball on the left takes a much wider arc compared to this ball on the right. Then it drives through the pins. The penetration is the big key, driving all the way through, almost ending up behind the eight pin. The reactive resin ball has been effective this season for the pros, but is it for everyone? On today's conditions, you have to have it. Uh, you're at a disadvantage if you don't use those type of balls. They're the, they're the future right now. Uh, but I think it's good to practice with some of the other balls. It, you know, it fine-tunes your game a little bit. If you can't bowl with those, you can't bowl with a resin ball. There you have it. The reactive resin bowling ball brings more parity to our sport. Whether you're a hook ball player or a straight ball player, you'll get more enjoyment out of the sport and more scorability. Now it's up to you. And now, Bo, it is up to George Brenham the third on the right, our tournament leader, who's been waiting off to the right all this time. They go against Parker Bone the third, who has two big victories. Resin bowling balls, Bo? Both players using resin balls, Chris. Uh, all the top five today, or four today, for sure, we're using them. George, both players are thirds, but only one of them will be number one after this game is over. Here they go for the Firestone Tournament of Champions title. A 4-7 for Parker Bone the third. Parker Bone averaging a fabulous 262 for his first two match victories, and that's the first time he's missed the pocket in almost 15 frames. So off to a little shaky start, but a lot of action left. All right. Match game play, his record 20 wins, only four losses. Now a 48 game average of 226. That's our tournament leader. George Branham the third of Indianapolis. He needs only one win for his first major title.
ten pin for the 30-year-old in his second Firestone. He was 35th in 1987. Almost a clone of the great styles that we see on the Pro Bowlers Tour today. Everything in perfect position. George, a little bit more of a power player with that wrist cock and just snaps it. Nobody lets go. So this is a match where $93,000 will be distributed. 60 to the winner, 33 to the runner-up never really headed in this tournament had a little faltering in the first round of of match play he dropped to eighth but then just dominated the field on friday so that's the way he's been striking throughout the 48 games and now he's in the final and parker bone opened with a spare shooting now in the second frame right lane Advantage Parker Bone at this point, even though the match is tied, he's loose, he's bowling fantastic, very confident. As you see, George Branham going to a little powder, he says with the reactive resin balls that he uses, and every almost every player out here uses, he has a trouble hanging up in the thumb a little bit, so he uses a little powder, which is legal if he keeps it back off the settee area. Has to keep it away from the approach. Now, here for the lead, Parker Bone. Come on, come on, yeah! All right. Very, very big double. George, who bowled a 245 average on this championship here, a five-step delivery, very solid all the way through, had a 300 game this week, and is one and one in his career from the number one seed. Leaving a four pin. Not his usual form on that shot, though. Tried to help a little bit. Yes. Watch George, you'll snap that wrist a little bit more. George, a power player, very strong individual, works with weights all the time, and went to the power snap, as we call it, and didn't get a good break and trip out to four. George Branham said that his win earlier in Baltimore this year inspired his leadership of the tournament this week. Well, the last few years I've been bowling pretty well, and I felt that I need a little bit more confidence and winning Baltimore gave me all the confidence I needed coming into this week. And now I'm leading the Firestone Tournament Champions and hopefully I'm gonna take the title. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, those answers came this morning at a wonderful breakfast staged every year. We're in Carolina, Ohio, a suburb of Akron. Founded in 1870, the first building on the campus of the University of Akron was Bucktail Hall. Susie Hamilton, U.S. middle distance runner. What was good enough yesterday just isn't good enough today. You can't hang on to old victories. That's what performance is all about. That's why I like this stuff so much. It's not the old way of doing things. Shampoo and conditioner in one, Kurt Plus. It gives me the results I'm after. Soft, manageable hair, but not a lot of fuss. Who needs the old way of getting there? Pert Plus, also in dandruff control. Look at you! You're dull! You're rusty! You're gonna get tough! Rust tough! Because Rust Tough has a unique fast-drying formula with rust inhibitors that form a tough, hard-nosed defense against rust. Look at you now! You're tough! Got rust? Get tough! Rust Tough. Now, Kellogg's Raisin Bran has even more of what you love best, sweet, plump raisins. And two scoops with more raisins means great raisin taste. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, now with even more raisins. This is the championship match for the Firestone Tournament of Champions title. Parker Bone, who has won two matches coming to the title game, now against the tournament leader, can up his lead to 20 pins, double up, shooting in the fourth frame. All right. That's, Mike Albee can sure grab different types of folks, Mike. Now obviously here with the king. Uh, Dell, gutter ball's in the right-hand lane. You're playing way inside. 
throwing it out over the left-hand gutter, possibly a gutter and a left-hand gutter. Yeah, you know, if I'm going to throw one in a gutter, it's definitely going to be in the left lane. It won't be in the right lane, but hopefully uh, this week I can throw another gutter ball and still win. He'll be playing a much deeper inside line than any of the players who have been forced inside. However, this man has the fiery hand. He is just going super. Oh, uh, six pin for lefty Parker Baum. You see that extreme inside line of Parker Bone playing between the fourth and fifth arrows from the left-hand channel. Ball drifts just a pinch high. The three goes around the six. With a spare here, he will maintain his 19-pin lead. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Immense pressure on these two professionals that have yet to win a major title. They're battling for it right now. Big George, deep inside, right here, needs this shot. That's it. Coming up next, ABC's Wide World of Sports features American Shannon Miller's gold medal winning performance. It's the women's all-around finals of the World Gymnastics Championships, plus a wet and wild look at bodyboarding from the Bonsai Pipeline and preview of next week's, yes, Kentucky Derby. The world of straight arm swings and power down to the final match. The Firestone George Branham can take the lead, six frame. Leads by one as his wife Jackie looks on. Parker Bowen the third, trying to be the first left-hander to win the Firestone Term of Champions since Steve Cook did it in 1981. A tournament that in the earlier years was dominated so much by lefties, but they've been out of the winner's circle in over a decade. Come on. And uh, Parker Bowen, remember now, he has two victories, shooting a 266 over Dave Houston's 183, and then 258 against Dave Ferraro's 209. One pin difference, four frames left, both players working on a strike. Firestone Tournament of Champions at stake. This is what a championship match should be. Close. And the unexpected happening. Parker Bone in the third. This week, Brandywine Falls is a backdrop for the Tournament of Champions trophy. They ate the same things, got the same heartburn, but his antacid is very different. His Tums has calcium. Most antacids don't. Original Rolaids uses an aluminum salt. These two use aluminum and magnesium. Of all these, only Tums helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium you need every day. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. For heartburn plus gas, Tums makes an anti-gas and acid too. See spot See spot run. See spot See spot stay. Introducing something better, the world's first foam protectant. It's a foam so it stays where it's sprayed. No running, no dripping. It deeply cleans, shines, and protects without the mess. So why use an ordinary protectant? Try something better, the protectant with staying power. Just think, guys, a few more of these and we get a vacation. Right. But until then, you're fine. Oh, no! No escaping it. Bowling returns May 29th. We all love these two people. Peggy and Eddie Elias. Eddie, the founder of the PBA. Great friends. The finest. The brightest star on the PBA horizon. He still shines brilliant. As George Branham III needs to get a strike to, retain, to regain the lead. Seventh grade. Chris, you talk about heavy roll. We've heard you, I've heard you say it in boxing. A guy is a heavy hitter. Well, both these players have heavy rolls because they're wrist players with good inside-out swings, and they are really punishing the pins today, the championship match. 
George Branham playing an extreme inside line. He's going to slide over in this area. Very critical to get loft, speed, control, and control your nerves. And it's a 10 pin for the stalker. Seems like George Branham III gets lower with each shot on the approach. A little wide on this shot, but a good point, Chris. That's what he should do, is drive down with those knees. He's got the powerful upper body. Use it. He's right in the match. Terrific athlete, his brother. Terrific collegiate basketball player. Played for the University of California. Made the, the Sweet 16, I guess they call it this year. And his brother, Richard, uh, 190 average bowler. Parker Bone taking a re-rack on 28, lane 28 as the situation is simply this. George Branham trails Parker Bone by 10 pins. Parker can extend that lead to 20. He has two strikes working eighth frame. Oh. Now. Joy in the previous shot on this lane and now the 4-7-10. We got a great break in the previous frame where he tripped out the six pin. Now he's in real trouble as he cuts through the middle. Leaves the four, seven, ten. A little bit easier for the left-hander as he can get the ball to the left side of the four pin, slide it over in the ten. If he does not convert this spare, George Branham will have the lead. Parker Bone, winner of two games coming into this title match, going against George Branham III, the tournament leader, who's been impressive all week. There you get a look at him, preparing for his next shot. Now in the ninth frame, Bone. With a vengeance, puts them all away. Now it's all up to Parker Bone. It's in his own hands. He controls his own destiny. However, George Branham still has a potential 249. A four. All right, for George, make the four pin. Be really solid in the 10th. He'll need a mark here and a mark in the 10th to lock up his first major. Watch the two pins. Left hand part of your screen go around the four. George practiced this spare before he went on the air, so they'll handle this one easily. Now, Chris, it's all up to one shot. Here's what George Branham can do. If he gets two strikes and seven, mm -hmm. he locks it up. Okay. If he doesn't, Park, Parker Bone can still win. Repeat that. Two strikes and seven for Branham. Lock City. If not, Bone can win. Okay. A four again. As many Firestones in previous years, they have come down to the final ball, the final frame, and that's what we're going to have here. George Branham with a conversion and a full count will end up 227. Force, force Parker Bone to strike two more times to spare. All right. There's a difference of 27,000 in winning or being runner-up. More important than that is winning a major championship, which neither has been able to do thus far in their career. Branham with three titles, Parker with nine. Right now, Chris, for Parker Bone, he needs two strikes and a four count. And this is a major. If you do poorly in a regular tournament, there's always next week. However, this in a major, if he doesn't perform here, he has to wait until next year. One at a time. George Branham's the new champion. Well, there 
There's Joy in Fairlawn, Ohio for Jackie and George Branham. Sheer disappointment for Parker Bone III. ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Bowlers Tour will return after this message and a word from our ABC station. In your quest to master the perfect bowling score, This is the new power torque. It's beyond reactive. Columbia holds the world over. Presenting the Yardman 3-in-1 self-propelled mower. It mulches, bags, discharges, has a six-speed drive, and a ferocious five-horsepower engine, all for the price of much tamer mowers. Yardman mowers and tractors, made in America. Sunday on day one, a place where they get away with murder. If you see something, mind your business. A bizarre code of silence. They don't trust the police. Day one, Sunday. Have your sights on a new home? Take a look at today's modular housing from Kaplan Building Systems. Starting at just 43.9, KBS gives you a better home in less time than on-site construction. We use skilled craftsmen in an environmentally controlled setting to get guaranteed quality results. But the real strength of a KBS home comes from the materials used to make it, like the Moen family of faucets. Buy it for looks, buy it for life. And Heil heating and cooling products. Quality is our most important job. You'll find all this and more in KBS Modular Homes. Harrisburg Copiers wants to say something that may shock you. Don't buy a copier, buy a copy for two and a half cents. With your two and a half cents copy, you'll also receive a Minolta High Productivity Copier, which includes a recirculating document feeder, automatic two-sided copying, and 20 bin sorter. Included in your two and a half cent copy, you'll also get toner, developer, service, everything you need to make a copy. So why buy a copier when you can get a copy for two and a half cents? You can only get your two and a half cents copy from Harrisburg Copiers, the innovators in copier technology. Call for information today. Witness, coming in May to WHTM. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jim McKay, reporting from Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky. We'll be going back to bowling in a minute. But coming up, ABC's Wide World of Sports features American Shannon Miller's gold medal performance in the women's all-around at the World Gymnastics Championships in Birmingham, England. And it's wet, it's wild, it's dangerous. It is, in fact, bodyboarding from Hawaii. Also, we'll have a preview of next Saturday's Kentucky Derby from right here at Churchill Downs. All of that coming up next at 4.30 Eastern on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Firestone Championship has been unique. Match one, Parker Bone, nine strikes, defeating Dave Houston, 266 to 183. In steps Dave Ferraro, again bone with nine strikes, 258 to 209. Not so fortunate in the championship match going for his first major as Branham was, 227, 214, a 13 pin victory for George Branham, who picks up a check for $60,000. Parker Bone, 33, Dave Ferraro, 24, Dave Houston, 18. Yes, bowling is the great individual sport. But covering bowling is not individual. It's a team effort. And we at ABC Sports have the best team in the world. I'm proud to be a part. Take a look at the names of those that make it possible. Jack O'Hara, Carol Letty, Larry Camp, Mike Carmen, Russell Brooks and Vince D'Addario, Steve Shunk, Arthur Budagan, Bob Simon, Les Weiss, Tom Gatewood, Frank Esposito, 32 years. So on down the line, they're all talented and great friends. The last group of credits were those from the PBA led by Kevin Shippey. They help us so very, very much, Bo, and we have, we have a king of the hill that wears a, a crown. You're right. Del Ballard Jr. has had a lot of fun with it, and last week 
He defeated Pete Weber when he had even fun then as he won his second consecutive Here matches. Here he throws a gutter ball after securing the match over Weber with 267 in jest, a react reenactment of his loss to Weber a couple of years ago in Baltimore. And Del Ballard is very, very tough, and he's psyched for it, and he's got that crown on his head. Yeah, earlier, he arrives in a rather elegant automobile, doesn't he? Firestone tires, no doubt. Through the portals, of course, he is a Firestone champion, as you all know. A U.S. Open champion, <laughs> 89 Firestone winner, Del Ballard. And today, it's George Branham. As Kellogg brings you the king of the hill, sports fan. Ballard's averaged 247 so far. Let's see what he does when he goes for the bonus and 15,000. Here he comes. All right. He can win today. Dell will get a bonus check of 10,000. The winner of this head-to-head -head match, $5,000. George Branham was in a King of the Hill match against Walter Ray in Baltimore and just bowled miserably. Let's see if he learned the lesson. Ten pin. George was kind of taken by that victory when he defeated Brian Boss in the Baltimore tournament earlier this year, which actually qualified him for the Firestone. He maximized that with his title in 60,000. However, his second crack at a King of the Hill match. with just about a flawless style, a style that you'd want to emulate. Keeps everything in perfect control, but I think the key is the steady head. Look at everything in good position. Now watch that head. Very little movement as he comes through the shot with a straight arm swing, that wrist and hand underneath and behind the ball. All right. Okay. Okay, he's wired for sound. Is has fun. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage today. The full grip of Del Bauer Jr. spreads the index finger, tucks that pinky, cups that wrist. Here we go. Firestone champion, George Branham, spare up shooting in the second frame, King of the Hill match. So many industry people here led by one of our favorites, Jim Bennett, retired from Brunswick. He has a son-in-law married to his daughter, Scarlett, Memphis, Tennessee, FBI agent who's trying to recover from a terrible illness and David, hang in there. A new George Branham has appeared in 1993. Confidence, exuding, and now all that natural talent has allowed him to have a fabulous winner, and it's only going to get better. Come on. 610. Dell wanted it to come on, but he didn't know what he wanted to do himself. He thinks he wanted it to hook a little more. That's why he said, come on. However, it hooked too much, and now he's got a somewhat tough sphere. He's got to avoid the chopping of the six off the 10. Okay, the king of the hill, Del Ballard, has been rather flamboyant during his first two victories, but today he may have an attitude change. The first five or six frames, you'll probably see a very intense Del Ballard. Uh, the last four or five frames, if I have my opponent down, then you'll see me having a little fun out there. But uh, I'm going to try to get the, the jump on my opponent, because he just won 60000 and I, I would like to make uh, the 15000 myself. Okay, Del Ballard in his white Firestone jacket, because... He won it in 89. George Branham, his opponent, just won it several frames ago, Bo. You're right, Chris. And uh, the flamboyancy may be taken out of Ballard here in the early going if Branham throws a couple more strikes. 
here's the young man that had to requalify, and his victory in Baltimore did it. He was absent from here in 88, 92. Look at this. Cool off, George, baby. He cool off a little bit. I tell you, I work out in the gym with George Branham. You don't need to cool him off. He's uh, just on his free weights alone, Chris, uh, kind of the barometer of strength. His bench press has gone up over 40 pounds this winter combined with all his bowling. He's in top shape. All right. This is the King of the Hill match. A lazy spring day in Akron can afford you a view like this one. If you're looking into faucets, peerless means plenty. America's leading do-it-yourself faucet in hundreds of styles and finishes, all made with solid brass valve construction and all warranty for as long as you own your home. The best made, best back, do-it-yourself faucets in America. That's what peerless means. Come on, stop, I'm begging you. I mean, what is this? Not just one plain flake, but count them. I'm overwhelmed. Why? All right, so I'm doing a 180 here. It's simple, that's good. It crunches. Yeah, I could go for them. Okay, 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 okay. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You know you're killing me, right? Kellogg's Corn Flakes. <laughs> Funny guy. Taste them again for the first time. She captured the all-around title. Now American Shannon Miller looks for more gold at the World Gymnastics Championships, Sunday on ABC Sports. We're in Akron, the longtime rubber capital of the world, and here's one of the great representatives, Vice President of Public Affairs of Bridgestone Firestone, Trevor Hoskins, who this morning at breakfast indicated that with Bridgestone Firestone moving to Nashville, Tennessee, it was a perfect business decision not to continue sponsorship of the Firestone Tournament of Champions. And are we pleased to announce that also headquartered in Akron is the General Tire Incorporated. So here is the Executive Vice President of General Tire's Passenger Truck, Light Truck Tire Division, Bud Kissel. They have taken up the gauntlet. They will sponsor for the next three years. It'll be the General Tournament of Champions. So you talk about friendly competition. It is just a wonderful situation for everybody involved. Thank you, Bud Kissel, and thank you, Firestone. Ballard needs to get back in the match with a strike. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, beautiful. George Branham, who in this King of the Hill match started with a spare and then threw four in a row. Kind of talking to Branham there. If Ballard strikes here in the sixth, he'll only trail by ten. Fifteen thousand at stake for this man. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're such a toe. <laughs> <laughs> the extreme deep inside line. You see Ballard's ball starting left of the head pin. He just didn't give it enough room, not enough speed. And he has a difficult spare of the 3 6 10. Here's a man who's in his seventh Firestone, having won it in 89. He finished 25th this year, 2,180 bucks. The number one money winner of all time, Marshall Holman, was 26th along with Mark Williams, Boss 28th, Monticelli 29th, Roth 32, Petraglia 33. So on down the line, great names, great champions. And George dances him off the deck. Just like here, man. You can see why Del Ballard is one of the most liked players on the PBA Tour. He's always having fun, and you see, as I have seen this year, a new George Branham. Confident, letting that natural personality and ability come through. Del Ballard actually is going to go around the ball return and into this area. We call, he's over to what we call the 56 board, and he's still trying to play the center of the lane. Tough shot for Del. All right. Like that. 
Hey, see that? See that? Go on like that. Chiding, excuse me, Chris, he's chiding Branham for his off hits. Branham has nearly not been solid in the pocket, and uh, of course, George Loose, after winning 60 grand, is taking advantage of it. Now you see how deep Del Ballard is. When I say 56 boards, I'm talking from this where, this area over. He's all the way over in here trying to conquer this tough lane condition. All right. Hey, I got me a George. You know, $10,000 bonus today, should he be able to win? If he can win five, it'd be 20000 This is number three for him. But he's trailing by 33. George has been stringing him. And then, four, six, seven. Okay, just check. Ballard just having some fun, and he's back in the match for the big bucks as George has an open frame here. Hey. We're glad our viewing audience has enjoyed the King of the Hill addition this year to our coverage of the Professional Bowlers Tour. We love doing it, and we're glad you like it. Right now, it'll get serious time. Branham with an 18-pin lead, two frames remaining. Well, the bucket. His money bucket is pretty filled today with 60,000 winning the Firestone. Oh, he's got to stay focused here. 5,000, mm -hmm. still 5,000. Right. 18 strikes today in just less than two games, but he hasn't secured the King of the Hill title yet. Could he crank that one a little extra, Bo? That's your favorite. Fr that's your favorite friend, the scout. The two pin comes over to the sideboard and works over the eight pin. Ballard can determine his own destiny right here. If he strikes out and gets, or strikes three more times and gets nine, he locks it up. Well, he really needed that one to get right on top of the match. However, it's up for grabs as we'll go to the 10th frame. Both players studying the scoreboard off to the side. Okay. George Branham. Strike spare would be 235. Dell Ballard Jr. if he strikes out 226. So Ballard must strike and hope that disaster strikes George Branham. Still in it. Come on. Come on. I'll be throwing any gutter balls today. <laughs> Let's hope not. If he throws one, it'd be in the left channel as far inside as he's playing. Has to have this one for a chance to win. All right, all right. Still got a chance. Oh, the blowout seven. Blowout 70 referenced right there was the ninth frame, which would have locked up the King of the Hill match for him if he had carried it. <laughs> However, the, the match still rests in this man's hand. shot a 226 in his defense of his kingdom. George needs a mark. Good count or strike on the first ball, and he's the new king. This man had won $40,030 this year coming in. So he has picked up 65,000. 
the king will defend his title March or rather May 29th in Fresno so Chris how about King George the third does that fit sure <laughs> Fourth title, his wife Jackie, comes as a major. The Firestone Tournament of Champions is the final edition for Bridgestone Firestone. Next year, General Tire will be our sponsor of this event, entitlement sponsor. Congratulations, the new king. All right, we'll be back to talk to the champion and the king. These remind me of of an ex-boyfriend of mine named Harry. Harry just sort of sits there. Dull and boring and, and bumpy. Now these are good. I mean, they've got some, they've got some spark, got some pep. They've got some life to them. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. These are Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Maybe I should give Harry another try. <laughs> Taste them again for the first time. Around the turn of the century, in a small Detroit carriage shop, Harvey Firestone met a fellow young inventor named Henry Ford. Firestone tires have been seen almost everywhere ever since. On Fords, Chevrolets, tractors, trucks, Indy Lights, and Saturns. Firestone, America's tire since 1900. You're on the set, and the lights come up, and the camera starts to roll. There's no place to hide, and even one flake of dander, even one, can ruin it all. That's why I use Head & Shoulders. You know, it's even better than it was just a couple of years ago. Today's Head & Shoulders gets to ten times more of the places dander starts. Put it to the test. Prove it to yourself. Head & Shoulders, and Head & Shoulders 2-in-1, because great hair can't have flakes. There you get an idea of how the 29th Firestone Tournament of Champions went today. A new king of the hill, George Branham the third, 244 to 226. The 5,000 to King George the third, as Bo said, gives him a total of 65. Parker with 33, and here is the king. Thank you. I want to thank so many people. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, John and Firestone. They've been around for 29 years, and, and they're leaving us now, but we're picking up General, so I'm gonna, we're going to miss you, but thanks for everything. All right, and before we get to John Shrimp that you were referring to, uh, I know you won't refuse the King of the Hill 5,000 and the crown. Oh, no. That's for Jackie, I think. Yeah, this is Jackie. She'll probably spin us on a dress or something. Who knows? Why not? <laughs> what, do, what does this all mean to you, George? Firestone champion. It hasn't sunk in yet. I mean, I just can't believe it. I was just happy to be here this week, and I was hoping to, to have a good showing, and it turned out to be an awesome showing, so... I'm not trying to brag or anything, but... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm happy. It's just unbelievable. Well, John Shrimp, who is uh, president of Firestone Synthetic Rubber and Latex Company, is a wonderful representative of a company that we've enjoyed being with. He has the spoils of victory and something permanent that glistens here today. John? Well, thank you, Chris. Uh, Firestone is delighted to have uh, sponsored the t Tournament of Champions for the last 29 years. And George, I want to congratulate you on a great win. I've got a trophy here for you. And on behalf of Bridgestone Firestone, a check for $60,000. Thank you. Um, John, thank you for everything. Now, now that you have all that money and uh, the Revere Bowl, any further thoughts? Well, I'd like to thank uh, my parents and everything. I wish they could have been here today to see this, but they'll watch it later on this, this afternoon. I just want to thank all my friends, uh, Ray Edwards. Uh, Randy Peterson is part of this. He helped me a lot out there on tour. It's just so many people I can't think right now. I'm just so happy. We'll be back to you in a moment. Right now, 
We're going to lateral the microphone over to Nelson Burton, Jr. Bo? Right, Chris, uh, and a great champion over there, the Depose, Dispose King here. Uh, Dell, it just wasn't to be today. What happened? I, I knew that I needed to go up in the ninth and tenth and to strike out and shut him out. That was the only way I was going to beat him. And I thought I made a good shot, and I got nine, and he doubled, and he's the man. That's all I can say. Well, you're a congenial champion, a congenial king. You'll be back and up to the new king, Chris. Okay. Now, uh, Jacqueline Branham. I'd like to thank Firestone for sponsoring a wonderful tournament. It was a great week. The banquet, the dinners, the luncheon. First class all the way. Thanks. Your, your husband is a first-class bowler. Absolutely. He was in his zone. He was definitely in his zone yesterday, today. He deserves it. Absolutely. Will you bowl in the next tournament in two weeks in O'Fallon? No, I'm going to take a few weeks off and uh, let all this sink in a little bit and, and relax. See you in Fresno. That's right. What's the deal? Okay. Here's the champion, George Branham III. Thank you, Firestone. For everybody, I'm Chris Shankle. See you May 29th. Goodbye. The Professional Bowlers Tour. Brought to you by Kellogg's. The best to you each morning. By Firestone. America's tire since 1900. And by Head and & Shoulders and Head and & Shoulders 2-in-1. Because great hair can't have flakes. Coming up next, ABC's Wide World of Sports features Shannon Miller's remarkable gold medal winning performance in the biggest gymnastics event of the year. It's the World Gymnastics Championships. Plus, a wet and wild look at bodyboarding and a Kentucky Derby preview. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports. Recognized around the